Hello friends, this video on organisms and their surroundings part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Fishes, another interesting uh, creatures, another interesting organisms which we all are familiar with. You must have seen a huge variety of fishes. Colorful fishes, big fishes, small fishes. So different fishes have different structures. Now, some may have elongated bodies, some have big tails, some have different mouth sizes and orientations. Now, these changes are as per their specific habitats because some of them live in oceans, some of them live in lakes or ponds or rivers. So, depending on where they live, depending on their lifestyle, their body structure is. So, some might swim in slow moving water, some might move in fast moving water, some might stay at the river bed where the water doesn't move much some might move with the tides so you see their movements are also different their habitat might also be different their food habits might be different so depending on their entire uh, behavior their body structures are uh, adapted accordingly gills these are the first uh, special structure of the fishes which help them to take in oxygen dissolved in water so th with the help of this, it can take in the oxygen that remains dissolved in water. Now, every organism needs oxygen, right? Like why do we need oxygen? We need oxygen. We breathe in to take in oxygen. What do we do with that oxygen? That oxygen actually helps in the process of conversion of food into energy. So that without oxygen, the food that we eat will not get converted to energy. So that requirement is true for the fishes as well. So they also need oxygen, but they live in water. So they cannot breathe in oxygen from air because they are exposed to water. So that is why they have these special structures called gills. And these gills help them to take in the oxygen dissolved in water. So that's important. Next is a streamlined body. So streamlined body, if you look at the uh, shape of the body of fishes, you will see that they have tapered ends and they have a wide in between. So something like this, a rough shape is like this. Now, do you, can you relate it to any other object which has a streamlined body? So you can think of an aer aeroplane. You can also think of uh, a bird when it flies so they all have streamlined body they have tapered ends and thick in between now these type of body shapes they are able to provide you know they, they can overcome the resistance that is given by water or air so they can overcome that resistance and they can move easily so that is why uh, all these organisms which need, which have to all these organisms or object which need to move through water or air they have streamlined body whether it is fishes or birds or aeroplanes or boats so they all will have streamlined body so having streamlined body allow their movement through water it helps to reduce the water friction and that's how it helps them to swim better fins and tails so fins and tails, they all together. So as you see here, you have the gills somewhere here. When you talk about the fins, these are the fins and this is the tail. So the fins and the tails, they together help in movement through water. Uh, so the tail controls the direction and while movement. And the fins help to maintain the balance in water. While the fish is moving, its balance must be maintained in water. So the fins and the tail together help in changing direction and maintaining balance. So change in direction and maintain balance. Scales. Now the scales protect the fish and also help in easy movement through water. So if you have ever observed, the entire body of the fish is covered with scales. Now for a lot of people, a lot of human beings consume fish. So before they consume fish or before they prepare it or cook it, what do they do? They remove the scales. So if you have ever noticed, these are like uh, white or transparent colored uh, flakes like things this these type of structures which are present all over the body of the fish so they are scales and they help in protecting the body they act like an outer covering for the fish fast swimmers now fishes are fast swimmers because of their streamlined body fins tails all of these together help them to swim very fast and as a result the this uh, ability to swim fast 
help them to catch their prey easily. So now, as I mentioned before, that depending on which fish lives in which type of environment, their body structure might be different. But these are some of the features which are common to most of the fishes. Like they all will have fins, tails, gills, scales, streamlined bodies, so all those things would be common. But something more or something less might be there because of their specific adaptation to habitat or food habitat. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.